Hi, this is Rafiq Suleiman, and you are watching Cloud Simplified. Hi everyone, and welcome to another video from the Cloud Practitioner Express. And in this series of videos, we have started a very interesting topic talking about database offerings on AWS. So in the video before, we have discussed the relational databases and the non-relational databases. So now in this one, we are going to discuss something very, very interesting is how I can migrate my database from on-premise to AWS Cloud. So maybe you have this question. So what if you already have a database on-premise that is up and running and you want to move it or in other terms, you want to migrate it to AWS Cloud. So how I can migrate this database offering the minimal amount of downtime? Because usually when we are migrating databases, the challenge that we have is downtime. Because usually I will take a snapshot from this database and then I will close it, I will turn it off so I don't miss any transactions. And then I'm going to go and replicate it on the other side. So if I did this, I'm going to have lots of downtime. So now the question, how I can migrate my database with the minimal possible amount of downtime? And here comes this service from AWS called DMS, or what we call Database Migration Service. So what exactly is DMS doing? DMS is a very, very interesting service. If I already have a source database, and this source database might be on-premise, or it might be even on another cloud service provider, and you want to migrate this database into the AWS cloud. So very simply, you will connect it to the DMS or database migration service. And DMS is simply going to take this database and it's going to migrate it into a target database on AWS. And I wanna say something very important here. Looking at the arrows like this, you might think, that mm, DMS is only a one-way migration to the cloud and this is not correct. So I can use DMS to migrate from on-premise to the cloud and guess what? I can also use DMS to migrate from AWS cloud into the on-premise. I must have uh, AWS either as a source database or my destination database. So don't worry, it's not only a one direction to the cloud, you can even migrate back if, uh, if you want. So again, DMS, that's the name of the service that can help me migrate from my on-premise to the cloud. So maybe you heard about uh, uh, RDS offering and you heard what RDS is doing from uh, the reducing of the admin tasks that we can have. So you're thinking to yourself, this is brilliant. I don't have a big IT team and I want to migrate my database to the cloud. So here you go, we have DMS. But then you might have another question. What if the source database and target database engines, they are different engines. So for example, I am migrating from a Microsoft SQL or from Oracle I'm migrating to something like Amazon Aurora, if you remember, with the benefits of Amazon Aurora. So now I might have a challenge. Why? Because I don't have the same database and this is what we call a heterogeneous database migration. And the problem here is because of the data structure and the schema that we have. And that's why AWS has even fixed this problem by offering this service called SCT or schema conversion tool. So in the exam, if you have a question like this, I want to migrate my database, but I have different engine types. So whenever you have different engine types and you want to migrate from one type to another type, always think about SCT or schema conversion tool. SCT can help you migrate from two different database engines with two different schemas that we can have. And with this, we reach the end of this uh, uh, video where we introduced the very interesting concept of DMS. 
how I can migrate my database from on-premise to the cloud. And even if I don't have the same database engine or what we call heterogeneous engines, I can also use SCT schema conversion tool to convert from one engine to another engine. I hope this is very clear. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments, please put it for us in the comment section. Thank you so much.